What's going on guys, it's Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we've got the 90 overall team of the season so far, Unkunku or Christopher is his first name. Most likely I will be calling him Christopher this because I don't really want to keep saying Unkunku because it's a lot of effort to say. Now he has got 91 pace, 91 dribbling, 88 shooting, 91 passing and 83 physical with 79 defending. Now he is 5 foot 10 which is a good height for a cam because he has that little interception reach but he can still be very very agile on the ball. Now, he is of a league SPC, the Bundesliga league SPC. He just came out today. So, the medium high work rate, I don't know about that, you know. It's especially in a cam position. It's one of those awkward situations where you don't really expect a cam to be medium high. You rather expect him to be high medium or medium medium. But it's going to be one of those situations where he might be tracking a bit too far back and not going too far up. Now, he has got four-star skill moves, which is always going to be nice. The three-star weak foot, though, is something I don't like, simply because I'm not going to be able to cut onto the left foot and shoot with it. I am going to be able to pass with it, but not shoot. Now, he is on a marksman chem style. He is on 10 chem, 92 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. This guy is insanely fast. I don't expect him to outpace like a Parva, you know, Van Dyke and all of those players, but majority of centre-backs, he will be outpacing. He has got 95 attack and positioning, 98 finishing, and 98 shot power. I don't believe he has any trait. No, he doesn't. He hasn't got the outside foot, the finesse shot, or the chip shot, which is a bit of a letdown, but it's one of those situations where I believe his shooting stats are high enough to it to still go into the back of the net. Now, he has got 98 long shots, 80 volleys, and 82 uh, penalties as well. Passing-wise, 92 vision, 83 crossing, 83 free kick accuracy, 95 short passing, 87 long passing, and 93 curve. Passing-wise, for a cam especially, it looks absolutely insane. He's going to be able to do the little over-the-tops from one side of the pitch compared to the other, the little RBAs into the middle, and a little tick attacker play. He has got 93 agility, 88 balance, 89 reactions, 96 ball control, 98 dribbling, and 81 composure. Now, the one thing I don't like... It's definitely the composure stat. It's not, you know, it's not up to standards. Like it's one of those be the it's gonna be one of those situations, sorry, where he's probably gonna hit the post so often if he's in front of net because of the composure. And that is something that's gonna kill me because I absolutely hate the post this year. We all know how FIFA 20 is pretty much post simulator simulator at this point. But the fact that he's got low composure, I don't know about that one. But on the ball, he should feel very nice. He should take a very uh, good touch as well. Now, defensive stats aren't actually that bad, and honestly. If you are thinking of playing him in like a centre mid, I definitely would not advise CDM. But in a centre mid role, it wouldn't be too bad with like a shadow chem style. He has got 79 interceptions, 79 defensive awareness, 82 standing tackling and 80 sliding tackling. Now he has got 85 jumping, him being 5 foot 10. He will be out headering, I would say, 6 foot and below. I wouldn't go any, any higher than that. He has got 90 stamina, which means lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes shouldn't be a problem. 85 strength. That's actually pretty decent for a 5 foot 10 player, especially in a cam role. Because he's going to pull up his weight. He's pretty much going to be shielding off players like there's no tomorrow. He has got 84 aggression as well, which means he should be very aggressive when trying to get the ball back. Now, today I have linked him up with Cordoba, uh, Sabitza, uh, Dama, and Coutinho. I've also got likes of Neymar, Rio and Van Dijk in this team. I will be using Nkunku in a 4-2-3-1, obviously playing him in that cam role. But I also want to try his shooting, his shooting stats out and actually put him up front. So I will play him up front in a 4-4-2. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we do is just test out how agile the player is on the ball. He didn't take the greatest touch there, but he feels very, very comfortable on the ball. And I can already tell he does these little twists and turns. And he will be sending players for hot dogs. Name on the ball. Let's see if Nkunku makes the right run. Oh my god, I did not expect that to go through. And somehow we have ended up getting a goal. No way that was the right pass. I wanted Nkunku to make a run going up. And somehow he didn't do it. I was waiting, I was waiting, I was waiting. He still didn't do it. But I ended up just going straight through the player's legs. And what a finish, by the way. Nkunku on the ball. I am going to do an over top through ball all the way over Coutinho. And it is a beautiful pass. Nkunku on the ball. Half drag back. Fake shot going the same way, power shot towards the near post, super, super unfortunate not to actually put that into the back of the net, but wow, look at the positioning, look at the half drag back, the fake shot, everything pretty much to get an angle towards that near post, but he did end up saving it, De Gea, relax this game because I want to get a few goals, Neymar, Ten Kunkel, little RB turn, take on the, oh my god, that's beautiful, no, why can't we get a finish there, the three-star weak foot really coming into play, that is so, so annoying, because he's done so well to get into the position, but somehow it's not gone into the back of the net, this is beautiful, 
Oh, through the legs. That is two, the two uh, passes that have gone through my opponent's legs. I'm starting to feel a bit bad because, you know, it's not really nice when you're standing at the perfect spot and it randomly goes through your legs. Drag back. I am going to trust in the weaker foot. That is the one thing I can say, okay? The fact that he's got that freestyle weak foot is always going to be nerve-wracking as soon as you turn onto the left foot. But you also have to understand that if you finesse with the weaker foot, the majority of the time, if it's a good angle, the ball will go into the back of the net. But if it's a very, very tight angle, I would potentially say it would hit post. But make sure you finesse with it. Don't power shot because as soon as you power shot, that's when you start to realize it's a freestyle weak foot. Trust me. And Kunkel in great space. I'll tell you that. A beautiful scoop turn. Little ball roll. Oh, okay, I overcomplicated it. I overcomplicated it. I didn't trust in the weaker foot. Now, if that's someone like Neymar, because he has that five-star weak foot, obviously I'm going to shoot on the left foot. But it's one of those situations where I didn't believe in it. Oh, that's my bad. I tried to do ball roll. But it, it, yeah, it's one of those situations where I didn't believe in it at all. I honestly thought he was going to miss. So I tried to turn back onto his stronger foot and it completely failed. Neymar, that is a beautiful run from Nkunku. Little fake shot here. I don't know if I can get that. I'm going to hit it all the way back stick. He's put a really, really bad animation and it is not the greatest cross. I honestly felt like he did that animation simply because he didn't want to take it onto that weaker foot and he wanted to put it onto his stronger foot to get a better curve around it. And that is like a big killer for me because he should be hitting that with his weaker foot 100%. Like he goes across, it curves out to in and most likely it will go towards Adama. But it's one of those situations where he used his stronger foot there. It's going to curve from out to in. And, you know, it's not the greatest. Neymar. And Kunku. Touch. I went for the hill. The hill. It is a delay like hell. You can see literally lagging. Oh, come on, man. How is the game going to lag at that perfect time? That is so, so bad. It's crazy. Because if it doesn't lag, all I have to do, turn, heal to heal, near post shot. Most likely it will go in. But somehow it lags at the perfect time. Oh, that's beautiful. Little pass. Can I get a finesse? That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, the reason I did a little stutter there or just stood pretty much on the spot or just, you know, walked her slightly forward was simply because I wanted to buy a bit of time to Neymar to make that run. I knew my opponent was going to read. I was going to do something with Nkunku. And all I had to do was pretty much just stop on the spot, wait for Neymar to make the run, do the drag back, through ball the ball to Neymar, and it is a beautiful finish. Neymar, Nkunku, beautiful RV turn. Use that acceleration. Come on. Use it, please. Keep going. Ah, that is super annoying that he is getting caught up there. Now, obviously, you could argue if I had a different chem style, like a Hawk, a Hunter, one of those ones. It could obviously improve the pace and stuff. And he probably wouldn't have got outpaced there. But it's one of those situations. And, you know, like I, the reason I put a marked one on him is because I honestly thought the pace was going to be enough. And it's clear of day it's not. Neymar, Nkunku. Half track back. Fake shot the same way. That is a beautiful combo that I tell people in my stream to learn every single time. It absolutely sends people to the shop pretty much because they think I'm going to do a full drag back, right? Then I do the half drag back, fake shot going the same way. It sends the player because he puts himself out of position. And all I have to do is go for that near post shot. And I would say nine times out of ten, it is a beautiful finish. And Nkunkul puts it into the back of the net this time. He feels so nice on the ball. Like, I, oh my God, come on now. Little ball roll to the outside once again. Ball roll in. I'm trying to get an angle. No one's really giving me an option. You could argue Coutinho was there for a second, but I, the ball was a bit too far away from his feet to me to do the pass. So I tried to create another angle, see if anyone gave me a passing option, and somehow no one didn't. But look at the dribbling down the wing from Nkunku. It's absolutely beautiful. Adama, then Kunkel. Little fake shot. Round the corner, no. I went, oh, he actually fought really hard for that. The aggression really coming into play there. But one thing I can say, because he's not the strongest of people, the strongest of person, sorry, or strongest of players, if you want to call it. Can't get my words out. But yeah, Boateng is always going to shift him. Let's all be fair. Boateng with his uh, high strength, he's going to pretty much body him all day. Neymar. Oh, that's an insane run. I'll be turned. Oh, come on now. Please go for the finish. No, that's the composure coming into play there. I understand it was a tight angle, but people like, I don't know, Mbappe, Neymar, all of those players, they will be finishing that 100%. And the fact that Nkunku has missed that, that's quite disappointing. I'm going to do a first time fake shot here. I am going to, oh my God. Oh my God, is that gone in? <gasps> I did not expect that to go in. The fact that Nkunku has actually managed, that, to, managed to get that round to Coutinho. 
that is a big, big surprise. But look at Coutinho's commitment here. I want to see the replay on this. So make sure it came off Coutinho. Yeah, it did. It actually came off Coutinho. Coutinho's commitment towards that was unreal. But what a pass. Nice. Really good run. He's in wide open space. Not the greatest touch. Actually, it's not terrible. Oh, I did get past the keeper. But the AI putting themselves perfectly for the AI block. That is ridiculous. I Oh, he actually moved the keeper a little bit. But still, he got it round the keeper. But the AI coming to play with that block. One thing I didn't notice was I thought the fake shot was, you know, terrible. I thought it was going to go too far and it was going to be an easy tackle for, I believe, it's Boateng. But somehow we actually made it go round him. So it is time to review him. Two games played, three goals, two assists. Come on, this guy was everywhere. He was doing the assist. He was scoring the goal. Yes, there was times he did hit post, but it was one of those occasions where you have to understand FIFA 20 shoot mechanics aren't great. And especially if Nkunku has low composure, that's going to happen quite a bit. Now, he is 5'10". I didn't have a problem with that at all. The media medium high work rate wasn't actually too bad in the cam bro i felt like it gave my cdms more passing options which is actually pretty decent i've never actually experienced a medium high cam now the four star skill moves it was nice it was nothing you know insane that i could do like a sombrero flip flap a runny scoop turn but it's one of those ones where i kept it quite simple the three star weak foot one thing i can advise if you are going to get this card finesse with that weaker foot do not power shot with it because the ball will not go into the back of the net now pace wise yeah you could argue pace wasn't really enough and you you know you could put an engine on him but it's one of those occasions where i wanted to boost his shooting stats dribbling stats and physical stats as well so the pace i wouldn't say was like high enough to outpace you know like boa tang and all those kind of players so keep him keep that in mind shooting wise was really really nice he finished majority of the shots there was sometimes he hit post or there was other times where he went wide but i felt like it was more of my angles than anything passing wise was absolutely ridiculous the short passing take attack a play everything you could do dribbling was really really nice i loved how he felt on the ball now it didn't feel as good as like people like neymar or stuff like that but he was very comfortable on the ball very like i wouldn't say very composed but he took really good touches let's say that now uh jump uh, sorry stamina wise he did last out the whole 90 minutes strength was actually pretty decent with the aggression as well he was really fighting for the ball and he was not an easy player to shift off it now we do have to give him a rating out of 10 I enjoyed him. He was nothing insane because of the freestyle weak foot, but he's a really, really nice card. So I am going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.